Hi, I'm going to show you how to use and create scripts. And this is part of the Doing Real World Work section of the Introduction to UpMax course, where we've already dealt with using the visual and using visual tools to log in, like a remote desktop environment, using a terminal to log in, using SSH. And now we're going to do some real work there. Um, we've already learned to use modules and this allows us to use pre-installed software and now we're here to create a script and use a script and use them those kind of things so I'm going to walk you through the exercises and this is clearly this should be done on Rackham so I'm going to log into Rackham I'm going to use SSH because that's uh, quicker quicker for me at least SSH capital X for X forwarding shell at Rackham dot upmax dot uu dot se and the password there and now I'm logged in onto Rackham. Let's take a look what I needed to do. Create a file called to do say dot sh with the content below. So we already learned how to use uh, an, an editor called Nano and how to create a file. So I'm just going to do it. Touch there to create the file nano do cow say to edit it and I'm just gonna copy paste this with control C and to paste to term control shift V um, to save it I think it's somewhere right out is to save and I control X is to exit there I've created a file called do cow say I can take a look again there it is well done. Try to find how to run the script. Try to find out how to run the script. All right. So for this, apparently, I need to use. Um, I need to Google how to run bash script under Linux. And let's see. So I use DuckDuckGo and. So how to run bash shell script in Linux command line. Sure, that's a great first hit. And the first, the simplest way to run it is to, to put bash and then the name of the file. So I can do that. Bash do cow say there. There, bam, I run the file. I did it. Try to find how to make the script executable. All right, let's Google that. Linux, how how to make a script executable? Executable. Ah, it's already there. Chmod plus x file name dot shu. I can do that. Chmod plus x do cow say. Uh, yeah, the apparent, I guess it's now executable. Run the script without calling bash. All right, Linux run script without bash. I guess run executable script without bash. Uh huh. So this is the first hit. Let's take a look. And the shebang. All right, this is this is this is too complex for me. Uh, yep, sudo echo. Copy my shell. All right, this is a harder one. I did notice that. Um, Linux run script. Let's try it again. Linux run script. And I'll just try it again. How to run a script in Linux? Maybe it's there. There are all. Are. Okay, this is good. This is good. Ah, dot slash in the name of the script. Let's try that out. Dot slash do cow say enter. Bam! This works. So after we have made it executable, you can run it like this. Great. Next exercise. Write an executable R script. Create a file called myscript.r with the content below. Right. So this is the name of my R script. Um, 
it's already there. I'm gonna remove it now. So my R script. So I'm, so I'm gonna do it from scratch again. Create a file called my R script dot R. Okay. Touch my R script dot R capital R. That's the standard. Nano my R script. Need to put some text in it there. There, save, exit, yes, enter, done. Make the script executable. Well, we've done that with chumod.x. chumod.x my r script. Run the script. What is the error message? Wait, dot slash my r script. All right, so it, it doesn't know how to run this thing. And that's correct because that is R. This is that's not bash. So the th things we type here is bash, and here suddenly it expects a bash script, but it's an R script. So let's see what you need to do at the start of your R script. At this, so let's do that. <coughs> this is called the shebang. The shebang tells bash with which program to run the script, and it is executable. Kay. So I'm going to copy paste this. Control C. Nano my R script, Control Shift V because it's a script. I'm gonna save with Control O. I'm gonna Control X to exit. There, run the script again and confirm that it works. Dot slash my R script, and now it works. Great. So we've modified the shebang. Uh, that's the hashtag exclamation mark, the bang mark, the, the shebang. And now we can run scripts. So those were the exercises for this. Um, that's it for today. I've showed you how to show scripts for the intro to my course day one. I wish you a very good day. Bye.